In today's video, we're going to show you how to overlay your lyrics on top of your worship live stream. That and more coming up. Hey, what is up, everyone? My name is Edwin from Church Creatives. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm going to show you inside of Media Shot 7 how to actually overlay your lyrics on a live stream through vmix um, and it's very similar principle if you're using obs or another streaming software but the uh, main thing is actually media shout so i just imported a song holy water here i put a background to it um you can see sort of the different things um this is a pretty well-known song um but one thing that I'm going to show you is using your stage display as an actual overlay function um, for your stream. So, say this is out going out to your main projectors, the stage display um, would be your broadcast kind of lyrics. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So the first thing you're going to want to do is flip this main uh, switch so you're editing the um, actual stage. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go up here and hit the sync all pages to stage. And what this is going to do is this is going to bring in all the um, lyrics, stuff like that. And you'll have all the layers that you normally would on here. This is like the copyright information. Um, this is the normal, like what I had formatted. So now you can see you can go through these and they're that. So you can either have it black, which... Um, doesn't matter or you can actually do it where it's a green for that and it shouldn't affect that yep so you can have it where it's green your mileage may vary on what you want to do um, with vmix the green looks good or the green looks good in my opinion um, for OBS you might want to try a black background to key out because we are going to be using a keying effect to get the green off of um, your actual text and in here you can place like overlays so if you wanted to have um, like a black box or something like that you could do that as well um, within here so now that we have this set up I'm gonna minimize this real quick I'm actually gonna open vmix here and I'm gonna go ahead find a video that I can just overlay on top of this real quick we're just gonna say for example um, this is what we're going to use. Um, and, uh, do, 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 do. let's go ahead and use one of Bethel's worship videos that I've had. So you can see how they have it. We're just going to go to something that's not, they don't have lyrics. Okay. Yeah. So like this, we're just going to take the screenshot. We're not going to actually put anything so say this is your camera feed right what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and add a monitor capture um, from media shout and so say you don't have a say, say your vmix computer and your presentation computer is separate what you can do is you can install the vmix screen capture which I'm not gonna go over in this video but basically what that does is it sends a feed out to your vmix which then you can import and do the same functionality um, and I believe there's something for OBS you might need to research that a little bit more if you guys want me to cover OBS let me know down in the description uh, down in the comments so what we're gonna do we're just gonna add a screen capture and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over to media shout make sure that we're firing on the stage um, display uh, VMix, there we go. I'm going to go ahead and add input. Go to desktop capture. We're going to go hit local video capture. Again, you're going to probably have something different for this. Um, we're going to do display. I think it's two. Yep, display two. Cool. So you see that that is there. And here, I'm going to actually add in the other one. Um, here, so we're going to add in display three. This is the actual what is displaying on the um, screens, like on your on your screen or on your um, 
projector. This is what the stage display looks like. So you can put anything you want on here. Um, some people use it to put a timer up there. And you could actually put a timer up here and still use this as a stage display. Make the background black. And then just crop out the time. And you can do different things like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and hit the settings button down here. We're going to go ahead, go to color key, enable this. It's automatically selected for black, but we're going to go ahead and select the green. You see how it pretty much taken away most of it. But on here, if I zoom in a little bit, you can see some of the green. If you click this chroma key filter button and just apply it more and more. You don't want to do it too much because then it will like take away the text and it won't look as good. But just about there. Then we can go ahead and close that. And then I'm actually going to maneuver it too. So position. Um, oh, that's the wrong way. So you see over here we're moving it. I don't believe I have any any three point let me go here and make sure you're gonna want to make sure yeah so something like this you're gonna want to make sure that it's um, still in here which mine it is so that's good um, if you have like four um, four spacing in your slides you're gonna want to make sure that it's all on screen and you might want to position it differently but for me that's how I'm gonna put it so I'm, that's perfect right there so then you can go ahead and hit the overlay button and then you'll see that it is overlaying on here. Um, and then I'm not going to play the video because it's a uh, song and stuff like that. But I mean, it's just, it would overlay onto one of your camera feeds and it would just be your overlay. And here, I'm going to go ahead and try to maneuver these windows a little bit. So you can sort of see, oh, I was in the wrong. So you can see when I'm going through, you can see that it's doing it. Here, let me just hit the viewer. So you see that that's oh, what's going out to there. Let's go to this. So doing that, that. And you see it's overlaid on top of it. And it gives this more immersive effect. I know at my church, we use a method that sort of looks like this. I believe if I have it set up right. Yeah, a method more like this where there's the box and then we actually have what's presented to the screens. Because um, we haven't been able to do the stage function. But this is one way where you can get it to look over this. And you might need to add something behind it, like I said, a box or something to make it stand out more. Um, and provide a better thing, especially if you're in like a lighter room and you're using white text. So, uh, but anyways, that is the basic idea using the stage display, either making it green or black for the background, putting just the text on there, not the video background, and then chroma keying it out in your software. That's how a lot of people use, um, and a lot of people get that sort of effect. So I just wanted to show you guys for anyone curious, and you can do it with Media Shout. Um, I know that before I was trying to figure out a way, um, but I found a way, and, uh, you can do this. And then this also works for like Pro Presenter. Just make your kind of adjustments. So anyways, that has been it. Thank you so much for joining me. And uh, I will see you all next time with another video. Peace.